The United States Senate has been called the world's greatest deliberative body and one of the most dysfunctional. Well, today, a new institute opened showing the Senate as it was meant to be. It was inspired by Senator Ted Kennedy, who died in 2009. Here's Chip Reed. On the floor of the Senate today, Vice President Joe Biden Ooh, called on a politician who hasn't been heard from in a long we'll time. With the first president of the United States Senate, John Adams. As you might have guessed, it wasn't the real John Adams, and this isn't the real Senate. The speakers were high school students, and the Senate is a full-sized replica at the brand new Edward M. Kennedy Institute for the U.S. Senate in Boston. With the help of President Obama, it was dedicated today. And no one made the Senate come alive like Ted Kennedy. Making the Senate come alive is exactly what Kennedy had in mind when he proposed building a model of the Senate where up to 100 students at a time can write, debate, and vote on legislation. Gene McCormick is the Institute's president. Are you inspiring future voters or future senators? We hope we're inspiring both. They also want to inspire the students to reach across the aisle. Yes, Kennedy was a fierce partisan. This is special interest legislation. This is a political payoff. Make no mistake about it. But he was also one of the most productive senators in U.S. history because he knew his bills wouldn't pass without Republican support. Some of his former Republican partners were here today, including John McCain and Trent Lott. Yes, a Republican from Mississippi. Across the hall from the Senate chamber is a replica of Kennedy's office, full of family photos and mementos. Kennedy's son, former Congressman Patrick Kennedy, told us how his father used the office to connect with colleagues in both parties. People were intimidated by him, but when they saw that he loved dogs, when he had kids around, when he was around his family, it immediately softened them up and allowed my father really to do the business of this nation. Today, that business often comes to a grinding halt in the real Senate, but here at the Model Senate, there's hope for a bipartisan future. The Senate stands adjourned. Chip Reed, CBS News, Boston.